this is day two of Krakow and uh, we are here at the tourist route of the salt mine join me for the adventure now we are inside the building the compound area of the location and uh, basically this salt mine is a UNESCO heritage area and right now we are going around 180 feet 80 stairs under the ground so yeah we are right now in Jelic Castle, mine, one of the oldest places we got in Poland. We started mining here more than 700 years ago. Before we start our journey, just two of the most important rules which we've got here. So first of all, try to keep close to me and don't go far away from our group. It's really easy to get lost here. Totally, it's more than 2,000 chambers, more than 200 kilometers of corridors and nine levels. And one more special rule about our safety. Please don't smoke underground and don't use open fire. But if you want. Uh, you can take as many pictures as you want, ask as many questions as you want, and of course, if you don't believe me that we are inside salt mine, you can taste salt, you can taste salt which is around us, for example, here on the wall. <laughs> if you've got any problems during our way, just tell me, I will try to organize some help, but right now, if you are ready, we can slowly start. So, are you ready? Okay. <laughs> we have to go this way. This is windy out here. Ladies and gentlemen, almost everything what we are going to see today was made by our miner scans, so that's why every chamber, every corridor is a little bit different. Uh, almost every rocks around us are rock salt, so a combination of pure salt and extra minerals. And our salt is more than 30 million years old, so that's why right now it's actually transparent without any color. Gray color, which you can see around us, is caused by extra minerals like magnesium, potassium and so on. Uh, for many, many years, miners did here just a manual job. Basic product of that salt mine was such a block of salt that like you've got here on the rope called snowman. Snowman, because that cylinder made of rock salt could have from 300 kilos to even 2 tons, 2,000 kilos. So only way to transport it inside corridors was to roll it. <laughs> And two ropes above us are connected with a manual cross. Manual cross was powered by four strong miners who are going around that machine, so that's why we've got here four arms. Uh, two ropes were moving, one end was going up with piece of salt to the surface, second one with piece of wood as a concha ballast was going down. <laughs> <laughs>
designers made their own story why we've got sold here. If you remember, they weren't well-educated people at first, so they didn't know about anything about CDC, evaporation process and so on. That's why they made a story about Princess Kinga, so that woman in front of you, and her engagement ring. So right now, time to listen to that story. When a Polish prince called Boleslaw proposed to Hungarian princess Kinga, her father, King Bela, insisted on a traditional dowry. But Kinga came up with another idea. She knew that no rock salt was mined in Poland and decided to ask her father for a group of salt miners. She wished to find salt in Poland with their help. Without a second thought, the king presented to Kinga an entire salt mine in Hungary. The princess visited the mine on her way to Krakow. She came near the mine shaft and, surprisingly, threw her engagement ring into it. When she arrived to her new country, she requested the miners to look for salt. The result came soon. The miners discovered salt deposits near Krakow that gave Poland centuries-long prosperity. They say that Kinga's engagement ring was found in the first salt lump extracted. Kinga, as a real person, right now she's saint and special patrons of the place, so please remember that name because later, in our way, we've got one more special place dedicated to her. <laughs> In a basic touristic tour, we've got just that wall made by such a technique, and later one more chamber excavated. This is the original form of uh, this is this, I mean, a bigger model uh, than uh, what I showed you in the last mine. Uh, the uh, miners' tour, and uh, in this one, uh, they have a bigger structure. Uh, replica created with the horses and, and men standing out here. Right. So that's why the record is considered to be one of the greatest things in Poland. He thought about ordinary uh, miners' route starts at the same place as the touristic tour ends, so in the Regis shaft, uh, but it's completely different. So here we are more like in a museum. Yes. And on the miners' route, you've got miners' equipment, miners' uniforms, so you can try to be a miner too, and yeah. also you can see more real part. I was there in the morning. Yeah. 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 So you can compare. Completely yeah. different. <laughs> and name of our city and name of our salt mine is Vielichka. From Latin, it means magnum salt, so great salt. And we had such a name even before we started mining. If you remember, we started mining here in the middle of 13th century, but people who lived here, they produced salt even 6,000 years ago. So that's why in front of you is reconstruction of Nelit village. Nelit, 6,000 years ago, part of Stone Edge, people who lived here were farmers, but one extra job to do was to uh, collect natural salty water, then divide into smaller tables like on the right side and evaporate it by sun or by a fire. People did such a job for almost 5,000 years. Then, water once again disappeared, so they were trying to look for new and underground, but instead of salty water, they found rock salt. And they found it exactly at the same time as Princess Kinga came to Poland. So that's why we'll start our journey to the second level. It will be 150 stairs. So it's a good news because at first it was 380, here just 150. But please be careful, some stairs are made of salt, they can be slippery, and also from time to time it's quite low ceiling. I had been doing this in the previous one, <laughs> turning the cartwheel and taking out the salt water. The 
abstract from uh, the Bible and the famous painting of Leonardo da Vinci, which is the Last Supper. It's a recreation of that. And this all place is salt. Every structure, every statue is salt. Some of the structures are uh, basically uh, lightened up with uh, lights just to show that uh, these are these are structures of salt. These are all the abstracts uh, from uh, the Bible which are carved into the stone, salt stone. And on the top you could also see that uh, these are the air ducts to take out the hot air which is rising from because of the people entering this place little surprise in a moment to enter next chamber we've got 10 stairs up <laughs> And I hope that you can walk that stern stirs up because in front of us we've got one of the biggest, one of the most beautiful chamber called Michałowice. It was also part of first touristic tour. So at the end of 18th century, when that part of Poland was under Austrian occupation, uh, miners prepared their few chambers uh, for people who want to visit that place. Michael, it's named for Polish boys, so like Michael. It's not the end, just little break. We spent here about 10 minutes. If you want to go to the toilet, it's by next doors on the second left, and then please come back here again. In about 10 minutes, we can do some dance. 10 minutes break. Yeah. And of course, later on our break. hero who fighted for our independence during First World War, then he became a martial politician. Uh, so one day he So we are uh, in the minus uh, 3 level, basically 180 feet under the ground and uh, you can see a lot of uh, beverages, some souvenirs, electricity, this is amazing and uh, here you can see the salt pouring down. This one we went in the morning which was the one for the miners, uh, miners entry and this was amazing as well and right now we we did this one we are almost uh, near to the exit now this is the restaurant this is all salt basically if you are wondering what's the ceiling made out of it's all salt and if you would throw water on it it would melt
This is uh, this is the banquet hall where you can hold ceremonies, you can help uh, hold uh, marriages out here, and uh, you can host uh, dinners. And so we are finally here at the exit, and uh, from here we will be exiting uh, to the top floor that is out of the mine. Our trip uh, for the tourist uh, guide to is finished for now. So we just got off the lift and uh -huh. here you can find a lot of souvenirs which, uh, which are uh, salt from this mine and uh, maybe the red salt which is the Himalayan salt. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, come back to my channel again for more. Until then, take care and have a nice time. Bye bye.